Mrs. Smith. I teach kindergarten at Rod Kelly and I'm going to be reading Peep the Cat Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. Um, I know that Peep the Cat is always one of my students' favorite characters and he's definitely one of mine, so I chose this Easter book since Easter's coming up pretty soon for us. Here's our title page. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. What's your guys' favorite Easter treat? Uh-oh. His basket was empty except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs. Paint the eggs. Hide the eggs. Thanks. The Easter Bunny. P.S. Wear these. So this is his note from the Easter Bunny. What do you think that the Easter Bunny wants him to wear? Why do you think he wants him to wear those? Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny? Now that's funny. Happy Easter chickens. Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter Bunny. Sure, Pete, we have lots of eggs. The chicken said, we are happy to help, but I don't, but don't you need a bunny nose and fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed like, like a bunny? Now that's funny. Mm, what do we notice about the words bunny and funny? They rhyme. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late, and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop. Off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color, some eggs had two. Some eggs were red, and some eggs were, what color rhymes with two? Blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter Bunny arrived. Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. His award says number one helper. So this book has some Easter treats that we can give to our friends. That's what all it is at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you guys are working really hard at home, and I can't wait to see you all back at school.